Hello. 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 Everybody's big. <laughs> yeah. I just needed to get to the toilet. So, <laughs> so all the same. Uh, we've got a few new people. Right. So, same people. <laughs> yeah. Right. So uh, this class is. Oh, whoops. Uh, reading and writing. So let me. Well, to start with, we've got a few new people, so I'll get you to introduce yourselves. So, uh, well, Oscar, if you want to go first, please. Of course. My name is Özgür. I'm from Turkey. I live in a, a town named Sakarya. Okay, thank you very much. And next, uh, Cecilia. I'm Cecilia. I'm 48. I'm from Montevideo, Uruguay, a small country between Argentina and Brazil, South America. There's so much echo. Uh, I forgot to put the message up, didn't I? Yeah, just mm -hmm. to make every sure everybody make sure they're wearing headphones. So, yeah, there's echo coming from somebody, but I don't know who it is. Right, and who's the next put? Um, Raji. Yes, uh, this is Raji from uh, Yemen. Okay, nice to meet you. Uh, Selma didn't manage to get in. <laughs> She'll have to wait. Okay, well, thank you for coming. And uh, Ria? Yes, uh, hi everybody. My name is Ria. I'm from India and I'm studying computer science and engineering. Okay, thank you very much. Next, uh, Samira. Samira. <laughs> I was talking in mute. <laughs> yes, um, I'm Samira. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm studying uh, technical radiology. Okay, thank you very much. Um, serve it. Yes. So, teacher, what I hear, I. Serve it. There is echo. Yeah, there's echo coming in from somebody. I. He I hear same things very loudly again and again. Yeah, and echo. Yeah, it's very really hard to understand. Do you have another window open? Yeah, is there other? Is the other hangout shut properly? The last one. Yeah, is there other? Is the other hangout shut properly? The last one. Does anybody else have echo? I, I hear all say echo. Pardon? Yes. Oh, you have a, a yes. Ev ev everything what I say is coming back to me after uh, five or six seconds. Okay. Does can everybody make sure they have headphones? Who who doesn't have headphones? Okay. Does can everybody make sure they have? Yeah, I can hear it as well, but I can hear it through somebody. So it's because somebody doesn't have headphones. So let's have a look. Ah, I just mute people. Yeah, he's got headphones. Uh, is it stopped now? You still got echo? No. <laughs> Stop now. No. <laughs> It's <laughs> uh, stop now. No. 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 Find out eventually. Right now it stopped. Yes, yes. I think it stopped. Yes. Uh, okay, Cecilia, it's you. Yeah, yeah, you've got echo. So if you just mute yourself when you're not talking. 
Okay. Yeah, I think. I I always mute myself when I stop. That's why I take some time to start speaking. Yeah, I, I yeah I know you do. I think I think it's coming from you anyway. Let me. Right. Right. Can we hear Echo now? I think uh, that's from you. <laughs> from me. I think so. No, I don't. Well, I don't think it can be from me because. Let, let me check. No. Oh. Last class, th there was no problem uh, with yeah. Cecilia. Yeah, it's because Cecilia normally mutes herself when she's not talking. But I don't know. Unless it's server, it could just be you. So what about now? Uh, the Q signal comes from uh, your picture. Yeah, but that's because I'm talking, so the signal after, will come there. After. Yes, no echo after. The echo is gone. Yes, uh, the server. echo is gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah. Well, anyway, if everybody, if you just mute yourself when you're not talking, then we won't have any problems. But just remember to unmute yourself if you want to talk. Otherwise, we can't hear you. Right. So, where did we get up to? Um, Sonia? Okay. Well, Tan. Oh, so it still hears Echo. I don't know. Can anybody else hear Echo now? No? I don't hear anything. No, I don't hear Echo. No, I think, so that you maybe you've got a problem with your, some of your equipment, or um, maybe there's something wrong with your Hangout, but it's a problem with you because nobody else has a problem at the moment. So try and play around with the different things. Is everybody else alright? But yeah, uh, well anyway, Tan, do you want to just introduce yourself for anybody that doesn't know you? Hello everybody, my name is Tan. I am 18 years old. I am from Vietnam and studying accounting in California right now. Alright. And thank you. And Sonia? Ah, oh, so it's fixed it. That's okay. Uh, Sonia? Sonia? Hello? Sonia? <laughs> Sonia has background noise. Yeah, we well, you can unmute yourself when you're talking if it's not too loud. Okay. Uh, is everybody introduced themselves? I think Savet? <laughs> yes. Yeah, did you yes. introduce yourself or No. Yeah. Okay, go ahead then. No. I'm Sarvet. I'm from Turkey. I'm 23 years old. Yeah. Okay. What What was wrong with your? Why did you have echo? I don't know. the The other screen uh, uh, was I stopped the stream. It was mm -hmm. a streaming bot. When I changed the uh, when I changed the page, it stopped. It's weird. All right. Well, it's fixed now anyway. So, uh, uh, Sonia, can you speak now? No. Okay, well, we'll start the lesson then anyway. This Sonia. Lesson, she has ba like, a lot of background noise, I think, so she doesn't want to... No, she has a, she, I think she has a freezing uh, problem. Yeah, that as well. So... Uh. Right. <clears throat> Well, th this class we're doing reading and writing, so we're going to be uh, focusing on constructing paragraphs, and we'll do that once I can open. Uh, 
Right. I'll just put the title in the chat box. This is so slow. To, uh. No, well, Sonia, we don't hear you. There we are. No, Sonia, we cannot hear you. No, I can't hear you. Is your microphone muted? Hello, is anybody there? Yes. Oh, right. Okay. okay, then. Well, so this lesson we're working on paragraphs. So I'll put, we're going to start off with just reading this article to begin with, which is this one. Right. So I'll just make it a bit bigger for you. So we, we're going to be looking specifically at um, constructing good supporting sentences, uh, specific supporting sentences. So just to start with, I'll get you to read this article. Uh, who wants to read first? May I read? Yep. Uh, since, oh sorry, since 91, 1901, the Nobel Prize has been awarded annually to scientists, authors, scholars, and peacemakers for outstanding accomplishments in science, literature, peace, and economics. The prizes were first established in the will of Swedish scientist Alfred Nobel, who invented dynamite in AD 95. Originally, the, the Nobel Prize was awarded for excellence in five categories, physics, chemistry, technology, and peace. Can you just read the five categories again, because your voice went like a robot? Physics, chemist, literature, psychology, or medicine, and okay. peace. Do you want to read this word again? This one here. Which one? Uh, Psychology. No. Uh, f f physiology. Oh. Look, physiology. This layer, yeah, this layer is different. No, so, physiology. Okay, thank you. Do you know what physiology is? Yes. It's about physics, basically. Yeah. Okay, so, no, it's not, it's not physics. This is physics. And physiology. Look, it says physiology or medicine. So what do you think physiology is? Mm, maybe about human body. Yeah, like to do with the human body. So can somebody else carry on from here, please? May I? I can read. Uh, yeah, Ria, if you go first, yeah. Okay. Today the hours have expanded to fields such as economics and public health. Each Nobel winner receives a medal, a personal diploma, and a cash award. The award ceremony has become a true international event as recipients come from all over the world. Okay, thank Into you. Okay. Yeah, and Oscar, if you can just read the, the last bit. Okay, uh, but I lost the uh, last... Okay, uh, in... Uh, in 2007, scientists from French and Germany won the Nobel Prize for physics while a British author was recognized for her accomplishments in literature. Marty Ahtisari from Finland received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2008. It is no wonder that many people consider the Nobel Prize to be the most prestigious. Our prestigious. Prestigious 
Yeah. Award given for in intellectual achieve achievements in the world. Okay, can you just read this word one more time? Oh, uh, that one. Ah, I can't highlight it. Hang on, keeps moving about. This one. Ah, you see this one here. Yes, Frank, friends. Oh, can we leave? Hello. Hello, teacher. Teacher is He's not here anymore. Oh, <laughs> we lost the teacher. This is comic. And what Hello? was the noun? Maybe France. Has, has France. Okay. Yes. My pronunciation is not so good. Do you hear me, my friend? Can you see? No. You see you know? Yes, we can uh, hear you. No, no, no. Go, teacher okay. says, "Can you hear me?" It's frozen. We don't hear you, teacher. Ah, excuse me. He has. Uh, no, we cannot he hear you, William. No. <laughs> Good Can up. you hear us? <laughs> Hello, Gwilin. Comes, comes back. That's going to be your pronunciation. Oh, his name very, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> okay, uh, it's good, it's good. Okay, it's excuse good. me. It's good, uh, I want to ask you a question. Come back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Can you hear me again? Yes. 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 Right. Yeah, you all just froze. So, I'll just get this back up again. Can you take a problem this? Yeah, I think if you, right. C can you? It's uh, disappeared just before you said the word. So can you read that word again? France. Yeah, France. And what is the other one? Uh, this one. Uh, recognized. Yeah, re recognized. Re recognized. Yeah, that's right. Thanks. Right. So. This has good examples of supporting sentences. So this is what we're talking about by supporting sentences. So who wants to read this? The highlighted bit. May I read? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I forgot to click. Ah. Support your point. After you have stated your main point in the topic sentence, you need to support in the sentences that follow. The supporting sentences can include reasons, facts, and examples. Try to make your supporting sentences as specific as possible. Supporting sentences that are vague or that merely repeat the point you made in the topic sentence are not effective. Okay, can you read that one more time, this word? Oh. So, Vague. Um, no. Does anybody know else know how to pronounce this word? Vague? No, it's different. What about um, Cecilia? Can you pronounce this word? I, ca I can't see the word, sorry, when you... I, I'll put in the, I've put in the chat, but it's not come up yet. This one, yeah. Vague, vague. Yeah, vague. 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 Yeah. The the opposite of of certain. Concrete. Yeah, like the opposite. The opposite of, of concrete. Yeah. That's, no. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. So, oh, it's it's not very clear. Right. So, as it said, we can you see the screen share still? No. No. Right. That back on. So in the supporting sentences, you need to include things such as facts, these things, facts, reasons, and examples. So can anybody give me a fact from this one, the, the paragraph we just read? Um, the prices were established in the 
will of Swedish scientist Alfred Nobel. Okay, so fact, so an example for somebody. Example. Yeah. Uh, Finland received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2008. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, good example is this this bit here. Uh, there. So, Ma Marti Atizari from Finland received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2008. And what about a reason? A reason for something. The award ceremony has become a true international event as recipients come from all over the world. Yeah, that's good. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, this bit here. So, been really. Yeah, this bit here. So it, it tells you something and then it gives you a reason for it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to compare uh, some pairs of sentences. So if who have we got? Uh, Manuel? Yes? Yeah, can you read uh, this highlighted bit? Okay. Look at the following. And the title as well. The title as well. But behind with. This, okay. Analyzing paragraph for support. Okay. Yeah, continue. Okay. Look at the following. Of the following two paragraphs. But. Mm -hmm. Behind with the same topic sentence, but only one develop it with in our specific support. Choose in our specific support. Underlying examples of specific support. Okay. Did. Everybody understand that, or did that sound? Does it sound quite bad? It was breaking up. Yeah, I can hear it. But you can read it. Though. So what we have to do is compare the the two paragraphs, so the pairs of paragraphs, and um, choose which paragraph we think provides enough specific support. So the first pair of paragraphs, like so, uh, Ria. <laughs> Yeah, can you read paragraph one for us, please? Yes. Paragraph one. Our family trip to Costa Rica last summer was very exciting. Every day we saw something new and different. One day we went hiking. Another day we took a rafting trip down a river. We saw lots of unusual plants and animals that we had never seen before. We did many things that we'll, we will never forget. Everyone agreed that this was the best trip we have ever taken. Okay, thank you. And Tan, if you can read number two. Um, here. Okay. Our family trip to Costa Rica last summer was very exciting. We were there for two weeks, and not a day went by without something unusual happening. On our second day, a boa constrictor swam right in front of us while we were rafting down the Rio Claro. Another day, spider monkeys threw branches at us deep in the rainforest. Hiking on the primitive tra tra yeah. trails in yeah, tra Cocovado National Park, we saw brilliant scarlet ma macaws and tokens with with huge yellow backs. Whenever we look at the pictures from our trip, we all agree that it was the most exciting one we have ever taken. Okay, so 
Oh, Selma, you got in the lesson. You know, Selma has done this lesson yes, two Selma. times already, I think. You've been in this lesson twice before, haven't you? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but I am her sister. Oh, uh, it's not Selma. I am her sister. I have never been in this class before. Ah, right. Yeah, it's Manel. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Well, okay. so... This... So which do we think is the better, um, has the better supporting sentences, paragraph one or paragraph two? Paragraph two. Paragraph two. Uh, what do you think paragraph two? So why is it paragraph two? Because in paragraph two they gave us more specific reasons, more, it explains the excitement of the trip better. Okay, can you give me some examples? Uh, for example, there was something like... Um, um, a boa constructed swam right in front of us while we were rafting down the Rio Clario. This sentence explains uh, the excitement of the trip well. In the first paragraph there is no expression like this. Yeah, what well, in the first paragraph, let's have a look, go back to that. First paragraph, what, what do you think, do you think any of the sentences say the same thing twice? Do you think it's repetitive at all? Uh, which is uh, repetitive, you mean? Do you think yes. the, the first paragraph, do you think it's repetitive? Yeah? Yeah, the same, to same topic, but in the second sentence, examples are more... Uh, examples are better. Yeah. Who, who said it was repetitive? Tan? Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Well, which sentences do you think are repetitive of each other? Um, like one day, another day, we went, we saw, we took, say. Yeah. Uh, and what about whole sentences? Oh, so for example... <laughs> like this, we did many things we will never forget, and... This was the best trip we've ever taken, and what else? Something, something new and different. Uh, what's the last setting? They all kind of mean the same thing. So yeah, it's quite repetitive. And just to answer Ria's question, can anybody tell us what rafting is? Oh, like a, a narrow boat on the river. You have a sport. Is it? I think yeah, like to go on a river in a boat. That I'll show you. Yes. A picture of. It can mean a few things, but um, normally Rafting. it's like just a, a boat on a river. Often it's quite fast water. So. You are craft the river. Rafting. Like this. You can see? Yeah. So that's like rafting. It doesn't the word doesn't always have to be so fast, but this kind of boat is a raft. Right. And so what is a boa constrictor? Is it an animal? Yeah, it's a snake. Oh, okay. I show you. Picture of that. Uh. So I can... Bow constrictor is this. Okay. So it's a big snake. 
Do they swim Ooh. a lot as well. There's really big, like, I don't know, two or three meters long. So a massive snake. It can get bigger as well. Right. So the next, right, so we'll move on to the next pair of paragraphs now. So, um, let me go back. Who wants to read this one? Me. May I read? Who's that? I go a limb. Right. Who, who wants, I didn't hear what you said. Who wants to read paragraph one? Me. Can I read? Yeah. I read? Who's this? Uh, Sarad. Sarad. Yeah. Did yes. you read the last one? Yes. Yeah. Does anybody else want to have a go? So we share it around. No, okay, so you can read the first one. The repairs on my car were much more expensive than I had anticipated. When I saw the final bill, I was in shock. It was twice as much as I had planned on. I had to pay $395 to get the brakes repaired and another $100 to get the wheels aligned. The engine oil change was $30, and the replacement of the air filter was another $20. Okay, and Oscar, if you can read the second one. Of course. The repairs on my car were much more expensive than I had anticipated. The mechanic did a good job, but I think I was overcharged for everything. I never ima imagine, imagined that imagined. the final iman, imagined that the final bill would be so high. In fact, I had to borrow money from my friend to pay it. The next time I'll go to a different garage. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, Ria? Yes? Yeah, which paragraph do you think provides uh, more specific support? I think the fa first paragraph provides uh, more specific information. Okay, and can you give me s some examples of the supporting details that the author includes? Yes, uh, in the first paragraph the author mentioned uh, that how much money uh, it costs like uh, in the thir in the third line uh, he says that uh, I had to pay $395 to get the brakes repaired and another $100 to get the wheels aligned mm -hmm. okay yeah that's what I looked for the other so two he mentioned the about the amount of money that was uh, charged okay very good so let's do this to this last one, then we'll move on, I think. So, who hasn't read yet? May I read? Uh, yeah. Uh, paragraph one? Yeah. Uh, my chemistry course is very difficult and time consuming. The professor doesn't seem to realize that chemistry isn't the only course we're taking. He gets lots of homeworks and too much reading. The worst thing is that these lectures are really boring. I'm not interested in chemistry, so I hate reading the textbook. I know I'm not the only student complaining about this course. Okay, thank you. And who else hasn't yeah. read? Who, who wants to go next? I haven't, I haven't read, yes. But okay. uh, William, but could you enlarge it a bit, please? Yeah. Thank you. So thank you. Up, yeah. you. Yes. Uh, my chemistry course is very difficult and time consuming. First of all, we are responsible for two labs every week, which means a minimum of 10 hours a week in the lab. To make matters worse, the professor gives at least three tests per month. The, que the questions are very tricky and we have to memorize long complicated formulas. 
finally the reading finally the reading load load is also quite heavy as much as 25 pages a night i often spend all my free time doing the required reading okay thank you very much and tan which do you think which um, paragraph provides the um, better supporting sentences? The second paragraph? Yeah, and can you give me some examples? Um, she said that she gives a specific, like, two laps every week. Okay, can Which somebody else think of a different one? Uh, Oscar, can you tell me another one? Of course, uh, when he says uh, uh, minimum of 10 hours a week in the lab, that's also a specific. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Susu? Yes? Yeah, can you give me an example of a, a specific... Um, a specific um, fact in here? First of all, yeah. we've had the two labs every week and we've yeah. also had a minimum of 10 hours a week in the lab. What, are the, what is another one? Uh, the professor give, uh, um, gives at least three tests per month. Okay, and uh, Manuel? Okay, could be she often spend all time doing the required reading? Could be. No, a, a specific example, a very specific one. It's in the second to last line. The reading load is also quite heavy, as much as 25 pages at a night. Yeah, that's right, 25 pages a night. Okay, so is everybody happy with these? So, yeah. I want to ask teacher which one is uh, giving a lot of uh, detail in this paragraph is good or it, do it doesn't sound very good to me. Like yeah, the second sorry. paragraph, the first one looks better. <laughs> I agree. For um, just for like sounding nice to read, the other one sounds nicer. But in this, the purpose of the text is to give uh, a lot of specific details. Because if we compare it to this, the paragraph we read at the beginning, this one, there's loads of specific details, aren't there? Like invented dynamite in 1985, since 1901. Swedish scientist in 2007, Nobel Peace Prize 2008, Finland. So the purpose, the purpose of this exercise is to write supporting sentences that provide a lot of detail. So I know what you're saying about some of them, like I think in the first lot of paragraphs we looked at, I think this paragraph is a lot nicer to read than the second one. I don't think this one sounds very nice, but for this exercise we want to create sentences that have a lot of specific details in. So that's why. It's just, okay. There's nothing Thank wrong you. with it, but um, it's just for these sentences we want to have a lot of specific details. So it means they don't necessarily sound as nice, mm -hmm. but that's what we're trying to do. Right. So we'll move on from this bit. Right. So, so here, yeah? The reason why I asked is because we are taking this classes uh, to, to write. Oh, it's so, sorry, I was. Mm. We are taking these classes to write effective and uh, good uh, paragraphs uh, according to um, uh, for readers. 
uh, yeah. readable and exciting, interesting paragraph. If we give uh, so detailed information like this, so it won't be nice for readers. Is it our purpose or not? I want to these these paragraphs are for a particular style of, a style of writing. So, for example, if we'll look at uh, this paragraph, right? The one we just read about the oh, this one, the chemistry course. So, if so, this is a student. And they're complaining to, like, the head teacher or whoever that they think the chemistry course should be changed. So if you're arguing for something, mm -hmm. which do you think is the better paragraph to send? Do you think? The second one. Yeah. So. Because you are stating facts. Yeah. So, for example, like how I said, if you're if you're trying to argue a point, like in this one, if you want the the chemistry course to be changed, then um, you would send the second paragraph because it has a lot more fa uh, facts. So you're being very specific. Like you th the chemistry course is very difficult and time consuming because you have two labs per week, so you have to do a minimum of ten hours in in the lab. The, you get at least three tests a month, so it's very specific. The things that are wrong with it. Whereas the first one, you say he gives a lot of homework, but a lot. That's just an opinion, isn't it? Yes. And too much reading. That's like opinion again. It doesn't back it up with any facts. So the purpose of these these paragraphs are like to. Well, in, in terms of proving your idea, so you say it's important to give lots of details. Maybe it doesn't sound good. Maybe it's it it makes the writing the article maybe boring. But in terms of proving your idea, maybe it may be important. Yeah, that's right. I mean, these are. Do you know the you know like the TOEFL tests? Yes, I know. Yeah, the, there's. Um, essays you have to write on them, and some of the essays require you to write sentence, uh, write paragraphs like this. Yes. So that that's what we're focusing on. But yeah, I agree. It's it's not necessarily the nicest thing just to read if you're just reading for pleasure, but it proves the point a lot better and it backs it up, which is what we're aiming to do. Okay. Thank you. Does that answer your question? Yes, of course. Okay, good. Right. So the next bit is we've been given a topic sentence and we need to come up with some good supporting sentences for it. So this the first one has been done for us. So Susu? So so. Yes. Oh, so had Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is your microphone working all right? Yes, but I bought a new one. It is loud? No, it's okay. No, no, you you had okay. some noise earlier. Yeah, it's okay. fine. Right, do you want to read the example for us? Okay. Oh. I'm terrible at doing the laundry. A, I forgot to separate the colored clothes from the white ones and sometimes end up with uh, gray socks. Mm -hmm. B, I rarely read the cleaning instructions and have ruined clothes by putting them in the washing machine instead of dry cleaning them. Mm -hmm. See, I often think, I often shrink my favorite shirts because I leave them in the dryer for too long. Okay, so we can see <coughs> how each of these examples just back up um, the supporting sentence that we have at the top. So now we're going to get a supporting um, a topic sentence, and I want you to try and come up with some good supporting sentences. So Tan, if you can read this one, please. I love trying food from different countries. Okay, so I want you all to think 
of a good supporting sentence for that. And you can write it in the chat as well. Uh, we can say maybe just to test Chinese food, I, I flew to China for a short uh, vacation, maybe. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Can you type that as well? Okay. Can you write it? But yeah, I think that sounds good. Yeah, if everybody else can think of a good sentence and write it in the chat. Uh, maybe uh, um, I would like to cook Venezuelan food. Yeah, so I like I <clears throat> enjoy cooking cooking then Swalen food. Yeah. I just to taste Chinese food I uh, uh good sentence to serve it, but there's a little bit of error in there, so I'll just change that for you. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Just to taste Chinese food, I uh, left. Oh, yeah, left yes. my country <laughs> for a short vacation. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, and Cecilia, do you want to think of a different, different sentence because it's not quite right? Yeah, so so that's a good one. <laughs> Not sure, by the way. Uh, that <laughs> see. Tan, have you put one in? Do you want to come up with a sentence as well? Okay, I'm tapping it. Okay. Trying is uh, like it. Yeah, like trying. Um, if you don't know, if you like something, or if something is new for you, you can try it. So if you see, like, have you ever had food from Mongolia before? So if you if you've never had it before, you could say you try it for like the first time. I. Yeah, that's it. I make friends from different countries so I can learn more about their food. Yeah, you could say I prefer, or you could say I like to eat food that are cooked in my. I think <clears throat> to make it better for <clears throat> what we're trying to do, let's go. You could put um, <clears throat> I. I like to try <clears throat> foods that are cooked in marketplace. I like to try foods that are cooked in marketplaces, or I like to try food that is. <clears throat> cooked at uh, markets. Like that. At or in. It's not important. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's a good one, Tan. Every time I, I, every time I see a restaurant that has a name in a different language, 
I want to go in and try. So there's a couple of words you need to change. Every time I see a restaurant that has a name in a different language, I want to go in and try like that. I like to eat good food. I really don't care what food. No, Ria, that's that doesn't support the point because you say you like to fo try food from different countries. You can't say I don't care what culture it is from. That contradicts what you say. Right. Okay, so we'll go on to the next sentence now. Uh, so, Ria, if you can read number three, please. Yes, uh, summer is my favorite season. Okay, summer is my favorite season. So let's think of some sentences for this one. Maybe a sentence uh, could be: uh, I like to spend, I like to spend uh, time with my family on December. Pardon? Because yeah, because I can spend time with my family. Yeah. So, do you want to type it as well? Yeah, um, Susu, do you have a... <laughs> yeah, because there's no more work <laughs> and school. <coughs> Good done. Okay, uh, Cecilia, do you have one? I'm working on one. Okay. What about uh, you, uh, Ria? Yes, um, I like to indulge in eating fresh fruits like mangoes, strawberries, which grow in summer. Yeah, that's good. Can you type it as well? Yes. So I feel free of. Do you, do you mean like. Yeah, because in summer I can travel for two weeks to anywhere. Well, because you don't have work. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Ria, that's good. Good. Uh, Mohammed. Yeah, you could put because. Don't. Uh, what yeah. does indulge in eating fresh foods? Uh, Ria, can you explain? Yeah, it means I enjoy eating fresh fruits. I really like eating fresh fruits. Oh, thank you, Ria. You're yeah. welcome. The indulge means you can like eat loads of them. I have one. Uh, you said you can eat a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, go ahead. I like to go with my family to the beach on some. Yeah, because so because I can go to my family, I go to the beach with my family. Yeah, can you type it as well? Right, has everybody given me one? Uh, Cecilia? 
Oh, you're all still working on it, aren't you? Yes. Have you finished? I got it. No, 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 no. Okay. I got an R. An R. A spelling in an R. There. There it goes. All right. <sighs> yeah. Because, well, as I can go for long strolls along the promenade. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Right. So, has everybody given me given me an example? Uh, Suad? I gave, but I think, I guess I just didn't see. I said, like, yeah. uh, when, I, when I see good weather, nice weather, I fall out to go on a picnic with my family. Ah, oh, yeah, because you can... Because when the weather is nice, you can go on a picnic with your family. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Cecilia, can you tell us what promen a promenade is? It's coastline, the coastline. Yeah, it's like the path, isn't it? We have yeah. a path along. Here, here in, in Montevideo. You mean sea beach? Have, it's not the beach. It, it, not it, the it, the, the, I mean, the beach is within the coastline because we have the beaches and there is also like the, the pathway along the street that goes along okay. the beach. Like this. The, Can you see the pictures? The, there, yes, yes, yes. yes. Like this. It's a, like a street that goes along the side of the beach. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Yeah, like this. This is that. Or that. Wow. And, and Montevideo has a long, long promenade. From, How do you from pronounce it? Promen promen promenade. promenade. Yeah, promenade. Promenade. Okay. Mo Montevideo okay. has a promenade from the port to along as Punta Pum, Pum, eh, Rocha, and Rocha is all all the south of the country has got a kind of promenade. It's beautiful. Okay. okay. I'm well, selling my. It looks like if I was selling my country, and I'm not. I'm proud of my small country. <laughs> All right. Sorry, okay. Sorry. Well, thank you for coming. That's the end of the lesson. The next lesson we have.